Hi everyone, welcome to Solar Decathlon 2017. My name is Matt Dozier with the U.S. Department of Energy. We're here in Denver, Colorado in a solar village uh, made up of homes designed and built by college student teams from around the world. Uh, we're taking tours of all these houses uh, to show you the incredible innovations that make these houses so amazing. Uh, this house is built by Missouri S&T students. Uh, it's the Silo House. So we're going to go inside, check it out, meet some of the teammates that are responsible for this uh, incredible creation. So let's head on around. So Solar Decathlon again is a competition that challenges teams of students to build, to design and build solar powered houses. Um, they have to be entirely solar powered, draw all of their power uh, and often more than they need uh, from their solar panels. So here's one of the teammates responsible for Silo House. What's your name? My name is Jenny Nickel. Uh, nice to meet you Jenny and what's your role with the team? Uh, so I'm the director of design. Uh, my role is to oversee uh, the entire design, whether that's from the systems to the architecture, just to make sure everything's very cohesive in the design. Okay, well why don't you tell us a little about, uh, about your house. Awesome. So this is Silo. It stands for Smart Innovative Living Oasis. Uh, we designed our home for a couple who's looking to downsize and live a little bit more sustainably. Uh, a lot of times people want to live more sustainably, but they just don't know how. And so we wanted to make that transition easy so you could still keep all your modern, modern uh, amenities uh, while still keeping with an energy efficient house. Terrific. Okay, so um, tell us a little bit about this sort of outward design. I mean, I, I don't know if you can quite see it from, from this angle, but there's that, that beautiful kind of curved roof. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So uh, kind of keeping with the name Silo, we wanted to uh, take a lot of inspiration from how old farmhouses uh, used passive designs to build their houses. Um, and we wanted to call back to that traditional style. And so since our name is Silo, we thought it would be awesome to try to replicate some of the curves of grain bins or silos. And so that roof uh, replicates that as well as the half wall here on the front deck. Okay, cool. So um, you want to head up the deck and uh, then inside? Sure. Sounds good. Okay. So uh, how long have you been working on this house? Uh, I've been working on this house for the past two years. Wow, so this has really been a, a real process for you guys to, to, to come up with this design, build it, get it here to Denver, Colorado, and then rebuild it, right? Yeah, it's been a long process, but a very enjoyable one. Okay, so I see we have some of your teammates here. Hi, everybody. How's it going? <laughs> um, you want to introduce yourselves? Sure. Uh, I'm Miggy Santos Sankia. I'm the home auto lead for the team. I'm Jack Gifried, Director of Public Relations. I'm Marina Mueller. I am the horticulture lead for the team. I'm Jamie Lee Budeman. Uh, nice to meet you all. Um, so who's going to tell us some more about this house? Who wants to go first? <laughs> well, so we, we kind of relatively simplistic system, so we want to incorporate a lot of voice automation in the team or in the house. But um, so as you can tell, if you enter the house, we have some Amazon Echo Dots kind of laid out. And so that kind of controls the, um, the lights, the HVAC, a couple different things. And also in the mechanical room, we have sort of a small graphical user interface that kind of shows what kind of sensor data we've been getting. Terrific. Um, okay, so should we should we head inside? Do we want to see uh, some of those uh, innovations up close and personal? Yeah, let's do it. All right, great. Lead the way. So again, if you're just joining us, we're here at Solar Decathlon 2017 in Denver, Colorado. Uh, this is a competition which challenges college student teams to design and build solar-powered houses. So we're here with Missouri S&T's uh, Silo House, um, and so we're learning about the innovations that make it really, really cool. Um, so what do we have next here? Uh, so one thing I want to point out before we head in, on inside is uh, the south-facing window as well as our green walls over here. Uh, so this is one way we passively heat our house during the winter time is our south facing windows. They actually, they're called nano walls and so they actually open all the way up to create a really nice indoor outdoor space from our kitchen to the front deck. Uh, but obviously you don't want that summer heat and so whenever it gets really hot outside you can actually move these green walls in front of the windows so you can shade the inside of your house during the summer. Terrific. Okay. Shall we head inside? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Hi there. Hi. Hi, what's your name? I'm Victoria McCann. And what's your role with the team? I'm the architecture lead. Awesome, cool. So uh, tell us a little bit about this interior space. Okay, uh, so this interior space, we wanted to make sure that uh, the places that the homeowner is gonna spend the most time in, uh, that it was very large and open. 
Uh, we know a lot of times with thousand square foot homes that it can feel kind of small and cramped, but we wanted to make sure that you knew you could live in a thousand square feet while making it feel much larger than it actually is. And so we used a lot of windows to help create that indoor outdoor space and extend the space further on than from the inside. Um, as well as a very large kitchen, so you didn't have to, again, give up on uh, modern amenities and such. Yeah, I mean, it's really bright and, and airy in here. I'm sure that's what you guys were going for with the design. Yeah, it definitely was. Um, so this is, uh, you mentioned the, the role of, of, of farming and the influence of it. You know, how, how did that d factor into your design philosophy? Uh, so that really affected the way we heat it and cool our house. Um, so I already mentioned our south-facing windows. Uh, we also have these clear story windows that are also an aspect of farmhouse design. And they actually open up. If you kind of look up there, you can see a little box at the bottom of each window. It's actually a window motor. Uh, there's a switch on the wall so you can open them up. And when the nano wall on the south side is open, it creates a really nice cross breeze so you can passively cool your house. And then during the winter time, we have a ceiling fan that pushes the warm air down so you don't have to work your HVAC as much. Okay, well, um, you want to kind of show us more around this space? I mean, it's, it's all so open. I feel like I can see everything already. <laughs> but, you know, why don't you uh, take us to the next uh, section of the, the main room here? Sure. Uh, well, we can start in the kitchen. Uh, so all of our appliances are Beko appliances. Um, they were kindly donated to us, and they're also very highly efficient. Uh, our dishwasher actually uses two-thirds less water than a traditional dishwasher. Uh, so these are just a few reasons why we chose these appliances. Um, as well as, you see, they're full size, they work really well, um, and they look really nice. Yeah, no, it's a gorgeous kitchen. Um, so you're also being tested with some of these appliances mm -hmm. and other um, factors of the, of the competition. So you know, tell us a little bit about some of the different events that you're kind of mm -hmm. like competing in. Uh, so we do have an appliances contest. Uh, one of them is to regulate the, the temperature within the refrigerator and the freezer. Uh, so we have temperature sensors in there. We actually added some water bottles and some ice cream uh, to help thermally insulate the fridge to keep a consistent temperature within there. So just for thermal insulation? Yeah, and whenever it's all over, we're going to have an ice cream party. So well, that, sounds, <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah, it'll be, def it'll be a good time. Um, cool. So um, for those of you who are just joining us, we're here at Solar Decathlon 2017 in Denver, Colorado. Uh, we're touring these amazing solar-powered houses. Right now we're in the silo house by Missouri S&T students. Um, so uh, if you're joining us on the stream, uh, send in your comments. We'd love to hear from you. Um, tell us where you're from. Uh, so before we uh, move on, so let us know um, kind of where you're from. To send in your questions. We'd love to hear from you. Um, so where to next? Uh, let's head over on to the living room. So another aspect that we really wanted to use this space for, since it has such a high ceiling, is just to make it a multi-purpose space. Um, so you can see we have our living room, our dining room, uh, and this little half wall just expands the space but also separates it. We have a question. Yeah. A question. Uh, from David. Okay, yeah, is the, is the ceiling and the roof uh, insulated for cold weather locations is the question. Yes, it actually is. Um, for those of you who don't uh, know what SIPs are, uh, it stands for Structurally Insulated Panels. Uh, they're some of the most uh, insulated uh, building materials you can find. Uh, since our middle roof is curved, uh, finding a SIP that is curved uh, is both hard and expensive. So we actually made our own SIP panel uh, using closed cell ins insulation, spray foam. Okay, cool. Hope that answers your question. Um, so why don't you show us uh, these, these other rooms here? I guess this is uh, barred off for now because yeah. of the competition, <laughs> right? Yeah, uh, during competition we want to make sure that uh, the tour path stays on path uh, as well as uh, all the competition sensors and everything kind of stay in place. Uh, but in here is our spare bedroom slash office. Uh, it has a Murphy bed so that uh, when the kids come back to visit or you just have guests, uh, you can pull the bed down so they have somewhere to sleep, or you can push the Murphy bed up and use the space as an office. All right, terrific. Okay, what else do you have in store for us? Uh, something in the master bedroom. I'll go ahead and move over here. But it's also in our office space. On the walls of these rooms, we actually used the American clay plaster. 
Uh, so it's a clay plaster. It applies to the wall just like any old plaster you would normally find on the market, uh, except that it's made of clay, so it uh, helps regulate humidity. Um, it's mold resistant, and we actually have a professor on our campus who's done research to show that it absorbs small amounts of pollution as well. All right, terrific. Um, so, so this is about, a, how, how many square feet is this? This is about 1,000 square feet. Uh, to be more exact, probably about 995. Okay, so, uh, and what kind of um, family or, or resident did you have in mind when you were uh, designing this uh, house? Uh, we designed this house for a couple who's looking to downsize, so whether that's uh, their kids leaving the home for school or jobs, uh, who are just looking to live a little bit more sustainably, but uh, don't really know how or don't want to make a giant leap into sustainability. Uh, it's just a more of a transition into, sta into sustainability home. All right, terrific. Okay, so um, I see we have uh, some, some laundry uh, appliances in here in the bathroom. Yeah. Uh, so another part of the competition, uh, we have to wash and dry our clothes. Uh, we also use Beko appliances in here. Um, so far, we've done wonderfully on both our clothes washing and clothes drying. They work wonderfully, and they use as least energy as we can hope for. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, this is a, a energy efficient home in, in kind of all respects, right? Yes. Um, okay, so shall we head out to the deck? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, and if you're just joining us, again, we're at Solar Decathlon 2017 in Denver, Colorado. Um, all week we've been uh, touring these amazing solar powered houses uh, designed and built by college student teams from around the world. Uh, this team is from Missouri S&T. Uh, this is the Silo House. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful place here um, on a beautiful day in Denver, Colorado. You know, you can come down and check out all the houses uh, for yourself if you're in the Denver area. Uh, it's the 61st and Pena RTD station. Uh, it's a quick trip from the airport. Uh, if you're in the area, come on down and see it for yourself. Uh, but for those of you who can't make it, uh, we're touring all these houses on Facebook Live. Uh, so I will let uh, turn this back over to the, <laughs> the team member here and we can continue with our tour. Awesome. So out here, I just kind of want to emphasize that we do have a gray water system as well. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with what gray water is, gray water is just lightly used water. And so it comes from your bathroom sink, your shower, uh, as well as your clothes washer. And so we take all of that and send it through uh, several different filters to filter out sediments, the laundry detergents, the soaps, um, and then it goes through a UV filter, so it kills all of that bacteria. Uh, a lot of problems that gray water systems have is that they can only sit for about 24 hours. Uh, while that water is stagnant within the tank, that allows bacteria to grow. And so we actually created uh, a small solution to that, at least to extend that period of time, uh, is our water wall right here. We have a prototype. And so what the water wall does is it keeps the water through the gray water system circulating uh, so that it doesn't stay stagnant within the tank. And so it extends that period of life. Oh, that's amazing. That's very cool. So uh, whose idea was that? Um, it was the teams. We, uh, we had a gray water system for our 2015 house. Um, we wanted to improve upon that. And so we were just sitting down at a brainstorming session and we were looking at different ways that we could improve upon it. Uh, and so besides uh, just adjusting the circulation of the system, we decided that what better way uh, to improve the system than extend the longevity of the water. Terrific. And you mentioned your 2015 entry. Um, this is not your first rodeo, so to speak. Um, how, so how many times has Missouri S&T been in this competition? So this is Missouri S&T's seventh house in the decathlon. Uh, the only decathlon S&T has not been to is 2011. Uh, this is personally my second home, so I was also part of the 2015 house as well. All right, terrific. And that was back when it was uh, in Irvine, California. So this is our first year in Denver. Um, so the, uh, there's a, a proud legacy then of Solar Decathlon competition with the uh, university. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, but we've enjoyed every second. Yeah, and, and as a reminder for our viewers, these competitions last every two years. So when she says seven Solar Decathlons, you know, that's 14 years at least, you know, minus, minus just the one uh, that you missed. So um, shall we uh, head back around to the front? Uh, if you don't mind, we do have some stuff in the mechanical room that's really cool and I'd like to show off. Oh, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, show, show off the mechanicals. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the heart of the home, right? Yes, it is. All right. I'll <laughs> join you. Uh, so as Miggy mentioned earlier in the tour, uh, 
We do have a home automation system within the house, and this monitor shows our temperature, humidity, carbon dioxide, as well as how much energy we've produced uh, through the course of a day. So this morning, we've already produced 11.6 kilowatt hours. Um, that's probably enough to run us all day. Um, we also have a battery system to your right over here. Uh, these batteries are made by Enphase. Uh, each battery is 1.2 kilowatt hours. Um, we have six of them, so we have 7.2 kilowatt hours of storage. So this is uh, you're generating power from the solar panels on the roof. And, and tell me, how many solar panels are up there? We have 24 solar panels uh, at 355 watts each. Okay, and so on a bright sunny day like today, you're generating a ton of power, mm -hmm. more than the house needs, right? Yeah, definitely. And so where does that power, you know, what do you do with that then? Uh, for the competition, uh, we're simulating a real life scenario. So we buy and sell our energy off the grid. Uh, and so all the energy that we can't store will actually push to the grid and s we, get the m we get money from that. Okay, quote unquote money. Yeah, money. Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, well, so anything else uh, in the mechanical room you wanted to talk about? Uh, that should be it. Okay, so um, should we head back out into the sunshine? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, it's a lovely home. Thank you so much for the tour. Um, this is this is a, a pretty fantastic, uh, um, pretty fantastic entry. How are you feeling about the competition? I'm feeling really good. Uh, there are a lot of great houses out here too, but I'm excited to see how everyone else does too. All right, terrific. Okay, so this has been Solar Decathlon 2017 Facebook Live broadcast, U.S. Department of Energy. Uh, we are here at Missouri S&T's Silo House. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, if you have any other questions, comments, um, hit us up in the uh, in the chat and in the comments. Uh, uh, we'll get to them afterwards. Uh, if you want to vote in the People's Choice. Uh, awards poll, go to the Solar Decathlon Facebook page and you can vote for Missouri S&T. Okay, thanks everybody for joining us. Signing off for now.